Um, Gary Neville, we've also got a, a new Premier League chairman expected to be confirmed today. He's a banker. He's a, a Coventry City fan, by all accounts, Gary Hoffman. Um, what would uh, be his priorities right now, do you think? Uh, well, he's coming in at uh, an incredible time. Um, that <clears throat> is probably the most challenging time for uh, the Premier League, but also just for businesses up and down this country for the last probably 100 years. And... I feel that's a bit positive. One, that he's a banker and he'll have a banking mentality because uh, he'll understand finances. And I think ultimately as well, I'm glad that he's got a, a, an experience of seeing a team struggle. You know, Coventry have had problems over the last few years. They're in the lower leagues. He'll understand the predicament of lower league clubs. I said four weeks ago, Dave, on a programme before this started, they, they had a huge opportunity here to do the right thing and prop the game up. And I mentioned that they should go and borrow a billion pounds. It was a number that, to be fair, I, I just said flippantly on the show at that time against the future income sources, the future revenues into tens of billions for the Premier League and more if they wanted to extend the, their TV contracts. The idea of basically borrowing at this time three or four hundred million, five hundred million pounds, which is, a, which is an, an, a more than an affordable number, doing a soft deal with a bank on a loan to give the FA, the EFL, players, whoever it is, the National League need 15 million. I've gone from anger, I've gone from opportunity to, to despair to almost now pleading with somebody at the Premier League just to do the right thing for the game. I, why am I on calls with chairman and owners of EFL2 clubs who are desperate, who don't know how to pay the next wage, who are worried about the clubs going bust for the sake of a couple of million quid, a few million pounds? with players when the next paycheck's going to come from those clubs. You know, you hear the uh, National League chairman who need 10 to 15 million pounds across the National League, 68 clubs, to prop the league clubs, uh, the, the clubs at that level up. You've got the FA who are potentially going to fall over with loads of money uh, being lost on their revenue streams. And it's just quite amount for the Premier League to be able to deal with. Once the Premier League do that and do the right thing, they can then be seen as the organisation that they should be, which is a fantastic organisation, the biggest export around the world of English uh, products is the Premier League, 1.5 billion every week and everybody loves it. We need to fall in love to fall in love with it again they need to look after football quickly and obviously in the meantime look after their own clubs because obviously they're so important to everything that we yeah, do. Gary, is, is, there's no, there's no the but, Jamie. There's no but, Jamie. The there's no but, Jamie. No, but what I'm saying no is, but, Jamie. you know, when you talk about the Premier League, the Premier League's money is the clubs, isn't it? Am I getting this wrong? The Premier League isn't just a body. The Premier League is the club. So what you're basically asking is the 20 Premier League clubs to then basically fund the rest of the league. Is that what you're saying? Because aren't some of That's these clubs it. actually saying that they're struggling themselves, whether you believe that or not? Jamie, that's exactly what I'm saying. To allow the Premier League chairman mm. who's coming in, basically, there's a 10 billion own contract. I know that they're talking about potentially having issues with those contracts in the short term, but I believe they've got good broadcast partners, including Sky, who over a four or five year period will do a very good deal with them. They can take a portion of money up front from a loan somewhere and they can just do the right thing to settle the game down, reassure the game that it's looking after them. And yes, you're right, Gary, it's the 20 league clubs. They have to do it. How does that wash then if you're, say, Norwich City, who we know have come up and have, have tried to be frugal and live within their means and perhaps don't have the kind of money that you're talking about? I'm not talking about Norwich City putting it on their books, Dave. I'm talking about the Premier League somehow working out some... It's a financial, it's a financial transaction. I think it's a very simple financial transaction for the clubs in that league to be able to wrap something up that would be palatable, that potentially can be paid back over a four- or five-year period, which would give the EFL clubs... The, the PFA, the National League clubs, the Premier League clubs themselves, comfort that they can get through this next 12 to 18 months and come out the other side. And it's a social approach, Dave. I'm sorry. The You have to have a social approach in times like this. This is not about the 20 Premier League clubs. It's about the game, the game, the FA, the grassroots. It's about everything in the game. The Premier League and the clubs are the only people who can stop this becoming absolute carnage economically and saves for the fans at the lower levels. And my view is it's something that should be done very quickly by the Premier League clubs. They can do it if they want to do it. And I'm not accepting anything so other than that. So you think every Premier League club should give 50 million? Is that, is that the type of figure we're talking about here? 50 to, what, what, what type of figure is it then, split between the 20 Premier League clubs that you're talking about? Jamie, I'm not, I'm not going to go into the finan financial metrics of it. It's not a case of sort of every Premier League club giving 50 million pounds. I know you've just said pounds. before about making a if, flipping well, comment. It sounds double, the same again. 
no, no, Jamie. If the Premier League future income is ten billion it's as pounds, easy as over... you're saying, why, so, why was so, it Jamie, a month ago and wasn't it not done this morning? I don't think there's a leadership there at this moment in time, and I'm hoping the new chairman that comes in can essentially look at the ten billion pounds over the next three years, four years, whatever it is of income that, that they've got borrow 5% against that future revenue and pay it back over a five-year period like a mortgage, Jamie. It's a very affordable number here to pay back for the Premier League to do it. Honestly, it works out about five or £10 million pounds a year per club less on the prize money. It's next to nothing. Jamie, I'm not going to go into financial met metrics on a call, but it, trust me, it's a simple <laughs> deal to do if you've got that future revenue. And you know, Liverpool have got a banking partner. There are other banking partners in the Premier League that They'll do something at this level to prop up English football. It's got to be a social approach.